there, future language masters. Welcome back to your Destiny, the coolest place on the internet for all things learning. Today's topic is all about something magical in the world of English grammar modal verbs. Now, I know, I know, grammar might not sound like the most thrilling thing, but trust me, modal verbs are like the superheroes of sentences. They bring the power of possibility, ability, and necessity to our language, so make sure to finish this video. Okay, let's dive right in. Imagine you have a magic wand that can change the way your sentences work. Well, that's what modal verbs do. They add a special touch to our sentences and make them more interesting. So let's meet our modal verb superheroes. Let's start with can. Can is like your I do it now verb. It shows what you can handle right now, like I can run fast or can I open the door? It's also your maybe later friend hinting at things that might happen, like we can play games or the bus can come any minute. It's helpful too, letting you ask nicely for things like, can I have some water? Or offer what you've got like, can I help with homework? Remember, can lives in the present, not the past, so you shouldn't say I can saw a bird, and it doesn't like guessing, so you shouldn't say it can rain. Now its friend could is like a polite version of can. Imagine could as a magic crystal ball, showing us blurry pictures of the future. It hints at things that might happen, like when we say, it could rain tomorrow, so pack an umbrella. But that crystal ball can also rewind, showing us what someone used to be able to do, like, grandma could run marathons when she was young. Now, could is also a master of manners. Need to suggest something without coming on too strong? We could go to the movie if you'd like, sounds a lot nicer than ordering someone around. And when asking for permission, could I borrow your pen, is much more polite than simply grabbing it. But could isn't just for being polite and peering into the future. It also loves building sentences called conditionals, where if is the king. Just imagine could joining the if team, like in, if I studied harder, I could get better grades. Remember, could can't show off someone's current abilities like can does, but it can still rock both the past and present, with could for both and couldn't for both negative forms. Must is like a rule. It indicates present obligation, future obligation, and strong advice. For example, I must finish this report by tomorrow morning. We must study together for the upcoming exam. You must always wear a helmet when riding your bike. Remember, must lives in the present and future, pushing you towards action or guiding you towards wise choices. It's the boss of gotta do's, but can also be a helpful friend encouraging you on the right path. Moving on to May, May hints at what might happen, not guarantees it. It indicates present possibility, future possibility, polite requests, and gentle suggestions. For example, the movie may start soon. We may visit Japan next year. May I come in? You may like this book. And its companion might, that talks about possibility. Might indicates present uncertainty, future possibility, softer suggestions, and indirect inquiries. For example, the package might have arrived. They might win the game. We might see a movie later. Do you think it might rain? Remember, might doesn't like the past. It only whispers about what could be now or what could happen soon. All right, let's make this even cooler. Modal verbs can also travel in time. Meet Will and Wood. Will is like a time traveler to the future and Wood is like a time traveler to a hypothetical situation. Will indicates future certainty, willingness, and a promise. For example, I will submit the project proposal by the end of the week. She will help you with your homework after she finishes her own. We will always support each other through thick and thin. Remember, will points towards future events with confidence, expresses readiness or consent, and solidifies commitments. It's not just a predictor of what lies ahead. It's also a pledge for forthcoming actions or conditions. Would indicates a past habit, a condition, or a polite request. For example, I would always finish my homework before watching TV when I was a student. If it rained, she would bring an umbrella with her. Would you mind passing me the salt, please? Remember, would delves into past routines, 
sets up hypothetical scenarios, and often serves as a courteous way to make requests. It adds a layer of politeness or softens the tone when expressing intentions or seeking cooperation. Now let's not forget shall and should. They're like the wise wizards of our sentence world. Shall suggests something in the future, shall indicates a suggestion, a future action, or a formal offer. For example, shall we go to the park this afternoon? I shall submit the final report by the deadline. Shall I assist you with your luggage? Remember, shall is often used to propose an action, express a future intention, or make a formal inquiry. It can convey a sense of collaboration or indicate a forthcoming event. While its usage has become somewhat formal, it still finds a place in suggesting plans or actions. Should indicates advice, obligation, or a suggestion. For example, you should finish your vegetables before having dessert. I should start preparing for the exam early to avoid last-minute stress. If you're feeling unwell, you should see a doctor. Remember, should is a versatile modal verb that guides towards a recommended or preferred course of action. It carries a sense of responsibility or wise decision-making. Whether it's offering advice or indicating a duty, should helps navigate through choices with consideration. And there you have it. Our modal verbs can, could, shall, should, will, would, must, may, and might. Remember, they're here to make your sentences more powerful and exciting. If you had a blast learning about modal verbs today, give us a big thumbs up, subscribe to your destiny, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a super-powered English lesson. Until next time, keep rocking those sentences. This is your destiny signing off. Stay awesome!